here we go. Southland Golf Club, Stone Mountain, Georgia. And we're getting straight into it. Back nine here, just over 3,000 yards, hole number 10. It's a par four, 340, pretty straight on. And I crunched this ball. Guys, I'm so excited about this video. I can't stand it. I felt really good the whole day, just mentally, um, physically. Shot number two, 85. I should definitely be on there. I definitely learned from this. Next time I will hit a pitching wedge. This is a par four. Um, so I'm not losing anything. Shot number three, and a good little putt right there. Look at look at that putt right there. So it's close enough for me to pick it up, and we're moving on. That's a pie. Even through one. Hole number eleven. This is my first time playing this course, and next time I think I can hit the green. I honestly think I can, because I hit the ball the ground before I hit this drive. So it's amazing it went this far. But I think I can hit it to the green next time. Send it to the moon. So here we are. Um, second shot right on it. I think I was about 130 maybe. And I didn't know which this way was going. So um, next time I'm just going to, if I don't know if this, the ball's going to go left or right. That's not the par. Excellent. I'm just going to hit it straight. That makes sense, right? So per, first par three here, 139, not the furthest one. And I didn't hit this great, but once again, not too shabby. Sitting here with a 60 in my hand. Up, down, hit and sit a little bit. Lots of spin on my shots um, that day. I felt really good, just once again, rhythm and tempo and control. That's what it's all about. Didn't know which way it was gonna break. You know, once again, not a bad putt, bogey. Could have been a par, whatever, whatever. Hole 13 though, par 5, 462. Pretty straight, you can see on the top right how it looks. I didn't know what was over there. I mean, it looked like it was going to go, it's like a dog leg right. So I hit it to the right, and this one, really good shot right here too. <laughs> Bent this thing like Beckham. So on to another one of these 85 yard shots, 81 yards, and... Typically my 54 goes about that far, but next time I'll, I'll club up for sure. Um, that's an amateur mistake. Check out this bad boy. Rolled right over the hole on the left side. I made one before. You saw that at the beginning of the video. Something special. Well, let's just make this in there for a par. My putting has been so much better ever since I've been squeezing it tight and going slow. Control, control. Dog leg. Louie. And I hit it just how I wanted to, just a lot um, more than I think I wanted to because I didn't know what was over there. But still, look, decent shot. Also, I scampered up there pretty quick. This is shot of the day, maybe. I mean, I, I chipped one in, I chipped some close, but this was shot of the day. 178 yards, five iron in my hand. Look at that bad boy. Two feet away, maybe. Gadoosh. That's a birdie. Even. Birdman. Hole 15, par four. This thing goes to the right, and I <laughs> I did not think I could hit it this far. And I boomed this bad boy. So I'm sitting now, 163. You can't even see the hole, it's beyond those trees. And I was trying to draw this. It was, it was a tough shot, hero shot. Um, hit the tree, fell down. So now I'm shot number three, 85 yards again. Am I gonna hit it on the green? Guess what? Guess what? Left it short again, you know it. Um, but that's okay, that's okay. Shot number four on this par four. And look at this too. This is what saved me. I didn't even grab the putter. I was like, I can make this. Whoop, whoop. In and around. That's a bogey with a 60 with the putter. Let's go. Moving on to number 16, par four. And just hit a little missile right here. Kind of a low ball, but it, it was going and going. So down here in the fairway, 138. Hit the green and just rolled right off the back. A little downhill slope right off the green, so. But not bad, and this was a really good chip. My chip's been so much better too because I've been controlling what I'm actually doing. What an idea, right? I mean, like, what an idea. That's a par, let's go, plus one. Yeah, we're running out of holes, and I'm only plus one. 
Hole 17, Stone Mountain in the back. This is a par 3, 166. Hit a, once again a really good shot. Hit the green and just rolled a little bit. I clubbed up because just in case, in hindsight, hit a different club, I was going to be right there. So another little pitch on here. Debating on what club to hit. I went with the 60 because it hasn't let me down yet. So I had a little bit of a further putt that I wanted. And this cut, this, the cut of this hole was so bad. Because that, I mean, I came with a little bit of heat. But the cut, the cut was so bad. No 90 degree on there at all. And this was a rocket. A rocket 480. And I'm sitting 212 out here. So that was about a 260 yard drive. Felt really good. Once again, rhythm, tempo, smooth. Chunked up the oh, deuce God, on God, that. that. So bad. Um, but this was a little bit more of a redemption ball. Eight iron in hand. Hit it kind of where I wanted to, just a little bit left, so I end up in the bunk here. At this point, my GoPro is like 13%, and I was like, I can definitely finish the video because I have like a one shot left. Um, turns out, nope. I two part of this, went to about right there. Ended up with a bogey camera died. That's a plus three. Four pars. One birdie. One bogey. Alright, four bogeys. Plus three, y'all. Thanks for watching. We're gonna catch you on the court. Let the play another day.